Hello everybody. Um, I have a very important video to share with you and you're going to want to see this and listen carefully. You, I think I've shared one of his videos already. His name is Dr. Shiva. He is running for the Senate. I'm sure Republican he's got to be. Or Massachusetts. But anyway, he only barely mentions that at the end. You have to go to his website to sign the petition. The petition is to fire Fauci. Dr. Fauci, who has caused the shutdown in our country, advising the president, we must do this, we must do that. Now, I don't know that the president didn't know already what all he was going to do. I mean, doesn't he have to approve stuff like this? I would think so. But the point is... This man is, is, he's telling why the shutdown is such a, a, a farce. A, he's not calling it a hoax. But he talks about how many deaths there are from, from this, from that, from the other. And we're not doing anything to prevent those. The numbers are like way higher than the numbers who have died from this so far. So he's not making light of it like it's not an illness of some sort going around. But for the country to be shut down and the way he has handled it is is ludicrous, is his point. And he explains why. So this is more than worth your time, I'm telling you. Now he's got 399 thumbs down. Well, that's probably die-hard Fauci fans. I don't know how you could listen to this reasoning with an open mind. That's the problem. People don't have open minds. They they have their their political favorites, and if you speak against their political favorites, thumbs down, thumbs down. Well, that's. That's just closed-mindedness. If you're not going to listen to all the reasoning that he has, why we need to fire Fauci and then to shut down. They can't believe that we're being lied to and that this man represents... Let, let me see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this a minute. So welcome, everyone. I hope everyone's having a good uh, weekend. In the midst of all the stuff that's going on, let me see this. What's going on? I'm, I'm on YouTube here. There we go. So I hope everyone's having a good weekend. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the fundamental issue of the fact that whether people know it or not, politically we're at war, um, and this war started with this entire coronavirus, and uh, it started about a couple of weeks ago. Also. Uh, reflected in the tweet that I put out when I said as an MIT PhD in biological engineering uh, it's my view that the fear mongering is really being used to suppress dissent it's being used to support mandated medicine and it's being really used to support um, you know crashing of this economy and I talked about that and as a part of talking about that and many of you I also shared with you the foundations of the flaw uh, of this entire fear-mongering that's taking place and the flaw is taking place with another F using fake science. We live in a world right now where it's very easy to use ignorance and fear uh, and to use those two uh, prongs to really impose policy on people. And the person that's imposing this policy right now on all of the citizens of this country is a gentleman by the name of Anthony Fauci. And I, and I want to use this graphic to really talk about him. And those of you, by the way, on Instagram, you can uh, follow. Okay, I'm going to pause, just stop it here. And sh this is a picture he shows. He's, these are the people backing him. The CDC, the World Health Organization, or WHO, China. Yeah, China. Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. The Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. Well, we know who Zuckerberg is. Uh, the leader of, supposed leader of uh, Facebook. 
Yeah, I called this man and him liars in one video, and someone put in the comments, where are, where are your facts to back that up? Well, here you go. The Clinton Foundation and Big Pharma. Okay, so all these elite, Illuminati, New World Order forming people, uh, foundations, organizations, whatever, are behind this man. And he gets into that. It's not boring at all. It, you'll go through it before you know it and wish you could hear more. That's the way I was anyway. So anyhow, I'm, I'm going to make this quick. So I am expecting a call from the vet. I had called and requested pain medicine. I, I don't have a way to get him to the vet. <laughs> the, cab, the cab people just hung up on me. Because they said only a service dog can go in a cab uh, without being in a cage. Well, I don't have a cage. Nobody here has a cage. Just, I tried to explain everything. But she just hung up on me. That being an emotional support animal, he is a registered emotional support animal. That's when she just hung up. Anyway. That's neither here nor there. I asked for if he could have pain medicine without me bringing him in. Why do they have to have more x-rays? Just to see how far in it is. And he wants to see his heart. Is it enlarged or what? But what difference is it going to make? Anyway. That's where I stand with Buddy. And uh, <clears throat> it's got me a little upset because I can s he's not comfortable. I'm giving, you know... Anyway, um, this is a video worth watching. I'm going to end this here, and I pray that... See, I want you to watch it. At least, if, if you don't watch the whole thing, watch the last five minutes. <laughs> she won't give you much, but it'll tell you how to go to his website and sign the petition to fire Fauci. Fauci. Fire him. And end the shutdown. Okay? It's a letter. It's a petition to the president... To have this man fired. And. You know. Whether he gets fired or not. And they, they need so many signatures. They need as many as they can get. So we need this shared. With everybody. If you have a channel share it. If you have friends. Please send this one on. And, and tell them how important it is. For the country. Okay. With that I'm going to end it. And say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.